all welcome back once again to my youtube class i am manjeet rawat your online instructor this is another class of ccna recently we added one playlist on our youtube channel based on ccna latest content and in this playlist i have already uploaded up to five different classes or five different videos and in previous class we discussed about the component and devices that required to establish our network infrastructure i'm on on the same page and this is another class of ccna and in this class i'm going to guide you about uh, network cable because you know that each and every organization uh, need to set up their network infrastructure with the help of cable because the cable network is much faster than wireless and cable network is much uh, secure and better than wireless technology so as a network engineer as a ccna engineer it's our responsibility we should know about the different types of cables that we have and we'll also discuss about the cabling the i'm talking about the method uh, by using the cabling you can create your cable to provide communication between devices so let's move ourselves to the screen and let me guide you about the complete information about cable and cabling yes both are totally different to each other the meaning of cable means how many types of cables are available and about the cabling it's a type of method that can help us to understand about how we can utilize our different types of cables so i'm moving ourselves to the screen but before that if you are new on my youtube channel if you are watching my video first time do subscribe because teach me cloud is a single technical training based youtube channel that give you 100% live practical based video series without skip any step so now i'm just going to guide you about the cable let's start from the cable and then we'll also discuss about the cabling as as we discussed before like whenever we set up our network infrastructure we have a two different method right if you want to set up your network environment we can establish with the help of wired network right and you can also establish without wired or you can say that wireless in case of wireless for example multiple machines are available in the network infrastructure and each and every machines are connected to the centralized device with the help of cable about the wireless again multiple pc laptop mobile phone tablet are available but these devices are connected to each other without any cable yes i'm talking about the wireless right 90% organization prefer to set up their network environment with the help of wired multiple reasons behind that key, that uh, that uh, 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 organization need to establish their infrastructure with the help of wired because the wired network is much secure yes the wired network is uh, much secure you can say that and it is much faster than uh, uh, our wireless network easy to troubleshoot right and easy to configure right that's why organization need to establish their network infrastructure with the help of cable so as a ccna engineer it's our responsibility we should know about how many types of cables are involved right how many types of cables are available that help us to establish our network infrastructure once we complete the part of wired network we'll also discuss about the wireless network in case of wireless wireless network i'll guide you about uh, how to configure access point how to set up ssid password how to manage the mac address filtering and about the port forwarding so these all are the uh, part our topics we'll cover in case of wireless networking but now i'm just going to guide you about the the different types of cables that we have so basically nowadays we can use three different types of cable to set up our local area network uh, so now we need to start about the network cable so network cable is categorized in three different part right the first one is very important coaxial cable second one is you can say that twisted pair cable right second one is twisted pair and the last one is fiber optic cable as a ccna engineer yes it's our responsibility we must need to know about the use cases of these three different types of cables that are available in the market you should know about the speed you should know about the range of these cables so let's start with coaxial so actually the coaxial cable is categorized in two different part one is thin net and another is thick net right thin net and thick net 
coaxial cable categorized in two different parts thin net and thick net and if we talk about the range of this particular cable 250 meters to 500 meters this is the maximum range of our coaxial cable and if we talk about the use cases of coaxial cable so basically it is applicable to set up bus topology right like these all are the machines connected to each other in case of bus topology it work just like this need to add one connector which is considered as a BNC connector you need to involve BNC connector and connect all the machines to each other nowadays no one can use the bus technology because it's not secure if any connection if any wire damage if the cable is damaged then it will block the access of all the network devices so that's why it's a old one uh, but you should know about as this is an exam you, maybe in the examination you will find the question related to the coaxial cable I'll guide you with the help of diagram but before that let me guide you about uh, twisted pair so twisted pair is also categorized in two different part one is STP and another is UTP right STP means shielded twisted pair and UTP is unshielded twisted pair unshielded twisted pair categorized in multiple category yes you can say that uh, we are able to find cat 1 cat 2 right category 3 category 4 category 5 category 6 and 6 C. these all are the category these all are the categories that you can find in case of UTP cable and if we talk about uh, talk more about the category so basically the cat one is applicable for telephone line yes it is applicable for telephone line because it contain two pair right and four wire it contain two pair and four wire means you are unable to transfer any kind of data you cannot use the category one of UTP cable to provide the communication between network devices I'm talking about the computer or laptop but from category one to category six that contain up to four pair yes four pair and eight wires right so from category 2 to category 6 we can use this cable to provide the network communication to provide the connectivity between network devices maybe computer to computer computer to printer computer to switches router firewall you can communicate with the help of category the the, the cat 2 to category 6 based cable next i'll show you the method how to create our cable as well that's why uh, you should know about the base first because right now most of organizations need to set up their private network environment i'm talking about the local area network environment with the help of cat 5 or cat 6 cable because these category based cable can give us uh, uh, means reliability of network like as once you set up your network environment you are able to utilize it up to for one year two year or three years no problem occurred with the our network infrastructure if you are using the category 6 or 6c based cable last option is uh, fiber optic right the fiber optic bit costly but it will provide you high data transaction speed so let me explain more about it uh, firstly need to complete the part of category means UTP cable the range of UTP cable up to 1000 meter right and uh, if we talk about the speed so different different speeds are available like it started from 50 Mbps to 1000 mbps based network cable are available in the network environment in the market you can say that right and let's talk more about it how it's look like about the coaxial cable look so coaxial cable look like this okay so so multiple options are available like this this is considered as a outer conductor and this one is inner conductor right and you can see that hard plastic Now basically right now no one can use this particular cable to set up our computer network because currently we need to use it we, we are using for the TV, TV cable 
I hope now that doubt is clear regarding the coaxial cable because the setup box that we are using at home uh, that connected with the disc using the coaxial cable. So, this is the coaxial cable look likes and if we talk about uh, the UTP cable. So, UTP cable contain hard plastic yes the outer plastic you can say that hard plastic or uh, uh, insulator and in, in, in this hard plastic you are able to find the pairs of cable right and use uses different different colors like this right you will find up to 8 wires the total number of wires are available in our UTP cable 4 pair 8 wires all right so we are using this particular cable to set up our local area network and we need to follow the procedure to create the cable. Let me guide you about the color codes as well. So, in this case you will find multiple colors like as a orange, then white orange, then green, again solid green sorry solid green and white green then blue and white blue and the last one is seven means uh, brown white brown yes so these all are the color code based cable you will find in our UTP cable so, basically we need to arrange this cable in very systematic way and uh, I think three different types of cabling method are also available that we need to know because each and every cabling method is responsible to perform the specific task. Means according to the cabling method that you, are, that you used in your network cable, it will help you to understand about which types of devices you are able to connect by using this particular method. All right. And let us talk about uh, the fiber optic, yes the meaning of fiber optic cable uh, as per the name suggests fiber optic cable bit costly, but, but it, it will provide you high data transaction speed, yes it will provide you high data transaction speed because it is responsible to transfer signals in light format. It look like this right it look like this fiber optic cable nowadays each and every yes nowadays each and every uh, internet service provider trying to set up their internet trying to execute their internet connection by using the fiber optic cable that is why you know that we have a multiple plans are available you can buy the 1 gbps of plan and think about in year of 2014 2010 and 2012 we are able to get only i think 20 mbps of plan or maybe 15 or 10 mbps of plan but nowadays if you are ready to pay uh, isp can give you 100 uh, I, I, isp can give you 1000 mbps of plan 750 mbps of plan normal 50 and 100 mbps are plan uh, plans are also available so, guys, this is all about the cable. I know about the cabling is also required. So, in upcoming class, in today's, in, in, in next class, by tomorrow, we will guide you about how to design our no on network cable. Means, uh, it is also important for us. We must need to know about the procedure to design or create our on cable. I hope you guys are okay with the topics that we completed today. And... Uh, please do subscribe your on teach me cloud youtube channel we will connect tomorrow on same time discuss more about uh, uh, networking thank you guys bye bye